place value. Have you heard this term before? Place value. So, in number, we will generally have two concepts. The one is called as my place value, which is nothing but PV, and the another one is called as my face value, which is nothing but FB. Okay. So, in this explanation part, I will be using PV and FB so that it is easy for us to remember. Okay. So, now say for example, I write 135. So, can you tell me the place value of 135? So, first step will be, I will be writing it as H. O. Okay? And then I will split and write 135. So, my 5 will be in 1's place. My 3 will be in 10's place. And my 1 will be in 100's place. Okay? So, if I say the place value, I will say that the place value of 5 is 1's, which is nothing but 5 into 1. The place value of 3 is 10's. Okay? And the place value of 1 is 100. Now, coming to the face value. So, as the name suggests face value, what do you mean by face value? Face value is nothing but it tells us what is the value of that number. So, when I say 135, okay, the face value of 1 is equals to 1. As I told, here it is talking about the value of the number. So, here you do not have to see what is the position of the numbers. Whatever is the number given, that will remain the face value. Okay? What will be the face value of 3? It will be the same 3. And what will be the face value of 5? Very good. It will remain the same 5. So, are you able to note the difference between the face value and the place value children? So, place value talks about the position of that particular number that is in which units it is placed, whereas the face value tells what is the value of that number. It does not count the place value of that particular number. So, are you clear here? Shall we move to the next concept of numbers?